continue to follow breaking news from Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Right now, heavy Russian shelling is being reported in the southern Ukrainian city of Mykolaiv. Now, the State Department is warning Americans who fight in Ukraine that they face significant risks, including capture or death. And today, President Joe Biden said the U.S. will downgrade Russia's trade status, banning imports of Russian alcohol, seafood, and diamonds. CBS 4's Natalie Brand has been following the response from the U.S. and other nations. She joins us with the latest from the White House. As Russia widens the war on Ukraine, President Biden and international allies are ramping up efforts to squeeze Russia's economy. The presidents of the U.S., the G7, and European Union are jointly taking steps to revoke Russia's most favored nation trade status, a move that would bring higher tariffs to a range of Russian goods. Doing it in unison with other nations to make up half of the global economy will be another crushing blow. The president also said the U.S. will prohibit the import of Russian diamonds, vodka, and seafood, including caviar. He is the aggressor, and Putin must pay the price. Taking aim at billionaire oligarchs, the White House is also banning the export of American luxury goods to Russia, as well as imposing additional sanctions on Russian elites. The new actions come as concern grows over the possibility of Russia using chemical weapons in Ukraine. I'm not going to speak about the intelligence, but, but uh, Russia would pay a severe price if they use chemical weapons. On Friday, Ukraine alleged Russia has ordered the preparation of a terrorist attack on the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, now under control of Russian forces. And three Russian airstrikes hit the important industrial city of Dnipro in eastern Ukraine as the refugee crisis expands. It's humanitarian disaster with the crossing. People are waiting for up to 16 hours in, in cold with their children. Ukrainians faced frigid temperatures as they tried to cross the border into Romania. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, the White House.